So this is a classic Second Temple period tune. Amazing. Very much like Joseph of Arimathea. Uh -huh. Now, this is not the tomb of Joseph of Arimathea. This sure. is the Elabadi. The wrong, wrong location. That's the wrong location, but the exact right how it looked like. Okay. So when you look at this, for example, here, you can see here, see where my shadow touches. This is an, an oil lamp. See this? Yes. And this is a tomb of the head of a family, right over here. So we have one here, two, and the third one is right behind us. And you can see that people try to break in and steal whatever was in it. Amazing. Because the pagans used to bury people with possessions. They did not know that Jews buried without their possessions. So a lot of these tombs are being broke by bandits to try to find remains. When the Bible speaks about Mary coming in and seeing the angel, this you saw as the seal that we walked in. This is not a round seal. This is a this is a, a, a square seal, but it's still a seal and it's broken. So when they came in, the two Marys came in, so the angel, that's what they saw. They saw an empty tomb. Again, this is not the tomb of Jesus. No, sure. But this is what they saw. They saw a beautiful carved into the rock second temple period tomb with, uh, 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 with, with no one in there. Now, when you enter into the tomb itself, you have to see this round hole underneath us right there. This is what we call the collectors. The Bible speaks about when a man died, he collected to his forefathers. He slept with his forefathers. This is a family tomb. So when a person died, what they did is to bury the family here. And after a year, he used to collect the bone and put it together with the forefathers of the family. Amazing. So this is exactly what the Bible says, slept with his forefathers or lay down with his forefathers. This is right there. And friends, when you come to Israel and the Bible comes to life, this Bible center, unusual, unlike anything else I've ever seen in Israel, Omer Eshel is the CEO of the Bible Comes to Life, one of our best Jewish friends in all of Israel. We've known him longer, and you will want to come with this Bible center, and you can actually explore it online, tvctl.com. But I, I just want you to know that he is going to take you to places and explain to you what you just heard in this cave that most tourists don't see. Now, he might not be able to bring you to this place because we didn't come here on a tour bus. We came here, just the three of us, on his little buggy. buggy. <laughs> kind of a buggy. Yeah. But he's going to take you places and explain things to you that no other tour guide we know about will even tell you about. And it's because his heart is for God and for the Bible. So thanks, Omar. Thank you. And Syrian Israel. <laughs>